Pisces, my Pisces. Hello, my dear Pisces, my Pisces, Pisces. Hello, my dear Pisces. What's up, water babies? Wish popping. What's going on in the life of a Piscean for the last part of May? Are you guys putting down the bullshit? <laughs> bullshit, this is me. This is the bullshit. Throw it out of here. Knock it out the park. <laughs> <laughs> hey, boo, hey, if this is your first time on my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time on my channel, look out, I cuss. Make us a little, make us a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards say. Oh, but I'm a cuss. So if cussing does not work for you, Please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can further assist you without cussing. Because me, baby, I'm going to do that. All right? You guys, thanks for all the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments. I truly appreciate it. Um, family, uh, returning returning subscribers. Family. I got a Pisces moon. I ain't been playing with I ain't been with people with the shits. Y'all not playing with these retrogrades. <laughs> Pisces like, uh, who wants the sword? Oh, you want some love? Okay, you want this sword? Oh, you want this word? Oh, you want what? I'm loving it. All right? You guys, self-love is the best love. And a lot of you are, you're kind of seeing things <laughs> from a different perspective where you once thought that you were missing out on something that you feel rejected. Now y'all praying, God, thank you for assisting me in dodging those la bullets. <laughs> and progressing forward, to be honest with you all, okay? Um, this is a general. It's not going to resonate with everybody. It's not. It's just not. All right? So take what does lead the rest. Don't try to make that damn shoe fit if it's too big because your ass will fall. All right? Um, I currently have a reading special going on. You guys, you got to refer to the community tab. Um, and that information can be found within the description on how to get in touch with me as well as how to make your payments for your reading. Neither here nor there. Let's get into it, okay? Because I'm like, I'm not like, bitch, don't, don't come on my video with your late ass talking all this shit. You already late. I know, but I made it. Shit. Let's not live in the past. I'm here now. Let's talk about right now. Okay? Dang. <laughs> so, this will be for my Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers for the sign of Pisces for this late half of May. Um, We're going to start off with your intuitive messages, okay? Intuitively, what I got from my Pisces is retreat, astral travel, addictions, Blessings, codependency, pathway, mass discovery, new love, life path, sexual encounters, assets, contracts, collaboration, resolution, fairness, gifts, ally, envy, cleanse, sudden wealth, family, silent moves. Trickster, past life, projection, tit for tat. All right. So, ooh, Pisces, <laughs> let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Overall energy for the reading, you guys got the King of Diamonds. Okay, so a lot of you all may be in this space of if it's not for me, I'm not gonna make it be for me. I'm not with the shits. That's I'm telling you up front, so we don't have no issues later. I'm gonna tell you right down now. So when you guys don't ask me nothing later, because I not already told you what I expect. If you do not work with me, I'm feeling as if you're working against me. So yes, yeah, can get this sword. This is the energy that a lot of my Pisces is in. Okay. So the first message that you guys got, angel messages, is angel therapy, Archangel Raphael. Give your cares and worries to us angels and allow us to take your burdens, okay? So for a lot of you all, Pisces, a lot of you all are really needing to focus on Focus on the love spectrum of every situation, okay? And understand that you are having some type of divine intervention that's going on in the midst. Please speak all of your truths and speak from a pure place of the heart, not a place of malice, okay? If you find yourself angry, having conversations with people where there needs to be some type of compromise or compassion given, and you don't have the, 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 the nicest things to say, or for that matter, people are not speaking the nicest to you, know when to walk the fuck away, okay? Because you can, people can only bother you when you give a fuck, if you don't, if you don't give a fuck, it, it really goes in one ear, not the other one. Or you may hear it, but it allows you not to emotionally respond or respond in an emotional state 
as to where you're adding on to the damn karma around the situation. Okay, a lot of you guys have gone through a lot of things there during these retrograde periods. And Pisces, if you haven't learned anything else, is when to respect what it is and when to trust what it is that you feel and respect those feelings because you literally have to lead by example and teaching people how to fuck to do that. The next message that you guys got. Is career transition come through, Pisces? <laughs> Leaving behind the old shit and moving towards the greatness. Archangel Chamuel. Your life purpose is triggering a blessed career change. For some of you all, I'm hearing use it. Okay, so there's a need for you all, especially if you are writers, if you are artists, if you are <clears throat> healers, if you are empaths, if you are bloggers, if you are um poet, uh, if you are poet, poetic, if you are any type of artistry, there's a need for you all to speak your pain, use your pain, transmute your pain into your prosperity, share because you are not the only person in the world that goes through that. Feel. A lot of you all are healers. A lot of you all want to assist other people in healing. And you're no longer allowing the opinions of other motherfuckers to prevent you from moving forward. Some of you all, the blessing comes from your pain. The blessing comes from your truth. The blessing comes from those things in the past that you had to hurdle over with. Maybe nobody else understands it from your perception, from your perspective. The Spirit is wanting you to share that because it's going to bring you abundance. Okay? The next message that I got for you all is creative writing. I'm also hearing journal. Some of you all may want to um, create some type of dream journal during this time because I'm seeing that your dreams may also be lit during this time. Some of y'all could also be dreaming of, um, this could be a mother or a grandmother that, become, that may be coming to connect with you in your dream space. And I'm also hearing astral projection. So some of y'all could actually be trans, um, projecting possibly to another dimension. And connecting with an ancestor. <clears throat> and you guys, if you hear this weird noise in the background, my little puppy, this is the, I've never had a dog. They're like, you know how you have sleepwalk and people talk in their sleep? My dog be really going through stuff in his sleep. He be growling. He over here barking. It's kind of like he running, but he's dead ass sleep, okay? So please excuse the noise. My little puppy crazy. He's a Sagittarius. He's crazy. I just roll with it, okay? I used to think something was wrong with it, but they said it was mama. His mama does this too. So if you hit a burp, burp, he was really asleep. I really wish I could turn his around and show y'all the growling and everything. He's asleep, y'all, so excuse this. Last message you guys got was creative writing. I'm sorry, but I bust out laughing every time he do that. <laughs> creative writing from Archangel Gabriel. Says, make time to write down your thoughts in a journal or pen, an article or book. Okay, so some of you all, <clears throat> some of y'all actually may want to be bloggers. Some of you, I'm hearing film directors. Okay, some of you all, this has to do with you actually having enough, having faith to actually step out there and share your gifts. And I feel like you, it's, it, they're wanting you to start small, more so like in a some type of spiritual community. Or in some type of, and, and when I say spiritual community, for example, you guys, YouTube, um, my soul family, y'all are my spiritual community. So for some of you all, this is about being innovative and actually creating your path. But again, your pain being your prosperity. Some of you all may want to, you have no, um, maybe you want to share stories of possibly um, domestic violence. Um, being able to release yourself from narcissistic abuse or <clears throat> for some of you all, this could have to do with um, some type of like emotional subjects or very tender subjects of having to do with like molestation or things of that nature. You know how to overcome lending your thoughts, lending your heart, lending your love to another person from your own personal space. Y'all know y'all y'all got me in this little. Y'all water babies. <laughs> Y'all know how to do it. But you never know what's sharing that, who you touch, okay, baby? <clears throat> so let's get into it. My Pisces. Pisces. Hear what? Can my Pisces expect in love from now until the end of May? Hmm. Some of you guys are focusing on your own coin, your own independence, okay? 
Some of you all could also be um, separating yourself possibly from an earth sign. And some of you all are just focusing on independence, what it is that I could do for myself. Myself will not let me down. Some of you guys could also, some, some of you guys are really needing to have, have the courage to take this damn leap of faith with this damn um, strength card and this food card, okay? For some of you all, you may feel as if you don't have enough money, okay, to jump off the damn cliff and chase your dreams. The Spirit wants you to know that there will be some type of divine intervention. The only thing that they need you to do is move forward and move out of this space as if feeling as if you're not good enough and only seeing the faith of what you do not have, okay? <coughs> For some of you all, excuse me, some of you all want to courageously possibly um, move forward towards an Aries person or a Leo person. Could also be a Sagittarius, or this person wants to do that with you. But there's a fear of someone being rejected, okay? Or some of y'all could also be dealing with, yeah, I feel like this Pisces, you don't want to be rejected. For some of you all, this could definitely have to do with a damn fire sign, Sagittarius, okay? And some of you all are finally moving forward after separating yourself possibly from a Cancer. I feel as if some of you all just really are focused on working on yourself during this time. And some of you all may also be reconciling possibly with an earth sign or getting together with an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, <clears throat> or an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I also see Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But I definitely see someone renewing or, or trying to put the energy into renewing a soulmate relationship to be able to expand or go into some sort of expansion into a new cycle. And for some of you all, this has to do with you just completely walking away. Some of y'all have a new relationship with a Scorpio, and I definitely feel like this relationship is going to bring you expansion. For some of you all, this has to do with a past life connection, okay? And I am seeing that someone could have tried to resurrect a situation that had been dead, possibly this full moon. This last full moon in Scorpio could have also um, assisted you guys in closing cycles to move you towards the things that you're trying to manifest, okay? Some of you all could have cut someone off, another water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, due to the fact that they drink too damn much, okay, or could have cut somebody out with a third-party activity. I definitely feel like there's a sense of addictions for some of you all, and some of y'all could have been dealing with a damn uh, air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and this person you feel keeps you in the bullshit. I, I, I feel as if a lot of y'all are feeling as if you're, you're, you're put second. To either people, places, and things in this person's life. And I feel that some of you all have spoke about it over and over and over and over again. During this time, you're like, fuck you. I ain't worried about financial ties. I ain't worried about if I'm going to be financially secure. I'm going to lean on God and I'm going to move the fuck forward. Because what I won't do is allow you to make me feel as if I'm last at anything. I've done so much work on myself to let anybody treat me that way. For those of you... <clears throat> Some of y'all, in walking away from a partnership where someone was involved in third parties, involved in drinking and, and, and drinking and smoking and making you a second priority, by you choosing to walk away, you're walking right into new love for some of you all. And for some of you all, you having to walk away from a motherfucker to show them that you will not allow them to treat you that way. And I definitely feel a reconciliation, but this person is going to know Pisces means fucking business. <laughs> they said that. I see they meant that. Okay. And for some of y'all, it's going to break somebody's heart. Some of y'all finna break an air sign heart during this time. Especially when it comes to standing up and actually saying what you mean and meaning what the hell you say by your actions. It's time for actions and less words during this time, Pisces. Why is the strength card here? <clears throat> Spirit, why is the strength card here for my Pisces? Why is the strength card here? Yeah. But some of you all, this has to do possibly with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Some of you guys are actually moving in and trusting the process when it comes to allowing someone into your life. Some of y'all are, are dealing with the new Leo in your life. And there's a need to take a leap of faith and know that it is safe to be vulnerable with this person. Don't make this person guilty of, of a crime that the past committed. Okay? There's a need for me to say that. Some of y'all want your Aries back. Somebody want their Aries back. And some of y'all just have to do with... Uh, possibly taking a leap of faith and possibly moving to a whole new state. Some of y'all just has to do with um, a new job, actually leaving your job and moving towards something that is more fulfilling. <clears throat> Why is the food card here? Yeah. For some of you all, yeah. For some of y'all, it definitely has to do with moving forward, okay? 
Some of y'all are traveling towards the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or this is you moving away from a situation where a motherfucker feels as if they got a bunch of options. Pisces is no longer with the shits. Some of you all, this has to do with the creative endeavor and actually things moving forward for you. You're hearing some positive news that's going to assist you in movement forward that's going to bring you abundance here, okay? <clears throat> yeah. For some of you all, you're sick and tired of being sick and tired when it comes to dealing with a fire sign. I feel like this person makes you feel rejected, makes you feel a bit abandoned, makes you feel as if you're always there for them, but they can't give you that same energy. Why is the world card here? Yeah, for some of you all, and walking away from this soulmate relationship and choosing to walk the hell away with this world, some of y'all are going into a new cycle where you're getting everything with your heart desires. For some of y'all, this is coming through a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Others of you, some of y'all could also be finding out that you get ready to have a baby. And this baby could have came out of a third party situation like this baby, this child being born was a catalyst to you walking away from something that was very unhealthy for you. <clears throat> Rather, this is you or your lover. Yeah, some of y'all coming out of this state of uh, disillusionment, coming out of this state of feeling as if, I don't know, I'm not sure, you're no longer there, you're very fucking sure. Yeah, I gotta walk away from this, it's gone. I got to go. I gotta be happy. Why are the three of swords here? Hmm. Someone could be standing their ground as far as a reconciliation. There could be offers of a reconciliation on the table. And for some of y'all, this could involve a Sagittarius, a Pisces, an Aquarius, a Capricorn. But I definitely feel like someone is going to be releasing themselves from a toxic situation. And this is all about divine timing in order to follow their dreams. So some of y'all could be getting an opportunity or hearing back about an opportunity that is going to allow you to travel. To release yourselves from the... For some of y'all, it was like mental binding of another person. Some of y'all was dealing with somebody who makes you feel as if you can't move without them. <laughs> Pisces is going to tell somebody, I know you, I know you with this 10, I know you fucking lying. Because <laughs> I'm protected, protected. Why is this nine of cups here? What's this nine of cups here with the queen of cups? Some of y'all manifest, yeah, hmm. some of y'all manifested a lover, okay, but after possibly cutting off someone. By you standing in your truth, by you standing in your, 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 your wholehearted autonomy, okay, your authenticity. What it is that you value, what it is that that matters most to you, things are now moving forward. For some of you all, this is having to do with moving to moving or some type of movement that is going to require change. And I definitely feel like it's positive change here coming in with the nine of cups that's going to bring the coin. Some of y'all have a new beginning possibly with an earth sign, Capricorn towards Virgo. And only thing you have to do. It's take faith, have faith, baby, and accept this damn cup. You see this food court? This man is trying to offer this cup, I'm trying to get somewhat good lighting. Take that damn cup, okay? For some of y'all, the damn cup coming from an Aries. For most of y'all, it's coming from the Capricorn towards Virgo. For some of y'all, it's coming in the form of a new opportunity with this damn Ace of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. But I definitely feel for some of you all, love and abundance is tied together. It's coming like a two-for-one special. But for some of you all, you're needing to get out of this place of not knowing. I'm unsure. Some of y'all, most of y'all are really fucking sure, okay? Especially when it comes to dealing with the Scorpio or an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some of y'all are getting ready to allow Aries back in your life or the mother and father of your children, but you're needing to set boundaries on what you will not allow. And there's a need for you all or this other person not to rush things. For them to move slowly and for someone not to be so damn controlling, there needs to be compromise, not control that is occurring, okay? But I definitely see offers being accepted. I definitely see for some of you all, you could have been manifesting a situation possibly with uh, with the Capricorn that wasn't going so great in the past. But I, will, I do see movement, but I see that some of y'all may be dealing with somebody who has some type of addiction issue, even a sexual addiction. So that third party energy is really beyond you. Because this person really don't value themselves. And so you're being called to trust yourself, listen to your good baby, and trust your own intuition. Because you're coming out on top with this damn Queen of Cups, with the Ace of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. 
Some of y'all could be dealing with a new Sagittarius person after releasing yourself from toxic energy that had you stagnant for some time. And I feel like this person may also trigger something from someone's behavior in the past. But it's only allowing you, it's only allowing those emotions to be surfaced so you can truly see what it is that still needs to be worked on, okay? Those, some of y'all are really, <clears throat> I'm hearing location. So some of y'all could also be finding out about some type of business location, like the closing out of a location, you guys, so that you can actually be prosperous in your own space and offer more services, I'm hearing. Others of you, others of you may be um, kind of resisting possibly moving in with the partner because you feel like, I just met you. I don't want to move in. I don't want to do, mm, this is your season of harvest. Receive. Open your heart, your mind, your spirit up to receive. Y'all have went through the most. Someone could be juggling. This could be a damn um, air sign or earth sign. But I thought this energy is coming from the past. You could have been dealing with an earth sign that was juggling the water sign. The hell, this could have been your ass getting your juggle juggle on. But I do see the energy of someone coming upright. And willing to compromise and actually build on the connection that does have the does have the damn potential to grow long and old and be stable. But I definitely feel like somebody's needing to trust. Okay? So this is what I have for my Pisceans for late May. And I will be back in June. We'll be live for the June 1st to the 15th readings. Uh, I'm going to do them by the element because Mocha has some projects that is coming up by step. I told you I got a Pisces moon. So just receive it, okay? Receive it. Receive it. If you want to know if this message resonates, mm -hmm. it does. It resonates with me too. But I want you guys to know to trust the process, all right? So I love you all. If you need a personal reading, that information can be found within the description. I'm on to these gang gangs. Bye, my babies. Peace, love, and namaste.